what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're taking a look at ransomware now this ransomware is based on fortnite and it's called Cirque. and you can download this as a free cheating crack uh, software which you can download to cheat on fortnite but unfortunately what's going to happen is it's going to encrypt all your data now if you are one of those unlucky people that have fell foul to this then there is a decryption tool that will decrypt all your files and bring them back but rather than taking risks with uh, types of ransomware like this, it's like playing Russian roulette. Eventually, you're going to get caught out and your system is going to get encrypted with uh, the ransomware. Now, if there is an unfortunate case that this happens, there might not be a decryption tool that you can use to decrypt your files. And this can be really damaging uh, to a small business or even a big business. Now, how does these ransomware get onto the system? Well, there's many different ways through emails. Uh, they will come as an attachment. They also come from dodgy sites where when you access the site, you end up getting this dropped onto the system. It could be uh, from some sort of crack software where you're downloading cracks off of the internet to crack uh, software uh, that you don't want to pay for and unfortunately sometimes um, there is some nasty cracks out there that have got ransomware instead of cracks and what will happen is just in this case you're going to end up having all your data encrypted uh, so this one come as a form of a fortnight cheat and when you run it it will encrypt all your data so let's go ahead and take a look at this ransomware in action and see what damage it does to the system and your data so remember, without any sort of form of protection, uh, you are so vulnerable to this sort of an attack. And uh, the cyber criminal will hold your uh, data to ransom and ask for certain funds to release it. So let's go ahead and activate uh, the ransomware and see what happens. You can see straight away it injects itself onto the system and starts to go to work and encrypts all your data. It will then pop up with a message saying, your personal files have been encrypted by a CERC, uh, malware, send an email to this address to recover them. And this is basically what they're going to try and do. So they're going to try and con you out of money to get your data back. Now, fortunately, uh, MCSoft have got a decryption tool which you can use to decrypt these files. But remember, guys, not all of these uh, particular types of ransomware are this easy to decrypt. And what can happen is you can get this onto your system and there might not be a decryption tool for it and you could end up with all your data encrypted and there's no possible way of getting it back. Now the best way to protect yourself is not to get it onto the system in the first place, keep regular backups and as you can see here, all of the data is now encrypted and this could be sensitive data like your emails, your photographs, your holiday photographs, all your precious data and it will be gone. Now fortunately there is a way of decrypting this now, there is no 100% foolproof way of protecting your computer from ransomware because normally it comes down to human error. What will happen is the person will click on something and if you have no uh, protection on your system that's going to stop that or it's a fresh sample that's not been added to a database of some sort of antivirus program, it will let that slip on through and basically inject itself onto the system and encrypt all your data. The best thing to do is to protect yourself with some sort of protection software. And you can use software just like, say, for instance, Acronis. They offer a free solution to protect yourself from ransomware. And I'll leave the links for this in the video description for you. And uh, basically, it's a free tool you can download and install. Also, Zone Alarm Firewall has a built-in um, a, a ransomware protection on it and you've also got other things like uh, Windows Defender has some sort of ransomware protection in there as well and there's other antivirus programs out there that you can use now I'm going to download this decryption tool from MCSoft and we are going to run this on the system once this opens up it will say are you sure you want to agree to these terms we're going to say yes and this will open up the decryptor tool and basically what we're going to do from there is select a folder uh, from here, uh, which is our pictures. Now, if yours is on the C drive and you've got a ton of files on here, you want to scan the whole computer. OK, don't just scan the folder that I'm scanning because I know that the files on here is just pictures. I'm going to blow this uh, virtual machine away and reinstall it. And uh, basically, you will have to try to recover all your data. You can see here, this is our data I want to try to recover. 
So I'm going to select the pictures folder for this uh, demonstration. So let me just quickly uh, run this and you can see here it's going along and starting to try to decrypt all of these files. And we'll let this uh, finish off. There we go. And you can see here it's now decrypted these files and you've got a, a spare file in there which is the actual um, ransomware one. You can remove these from the computer. It's probably best that you do a backup of your system and do a fresh install of Windows, especially after a ransomware attack. It's probably your best solution. But in future, what you can do is use software like Acronis to back up all your data. It does come with um, ransomware protection in there, which means you will be protected from ransomware. Now, no software is 100% foolproof against ransomware, but it's a step in the right direction. And normally what happens is it comes down to uh, human error when they are clicking yes to authorize something to come down and install and it could be ransomware. So you will have to educate yourself on things like that. But Acronis also offer a free uh, anti-ransomware software which you can download and uh, use for free. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I'll leave all the links in the video description. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.